Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. Today I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that my bluegill died. I have no clue why he died. But anyways, I'm going to move on. And today I'm going to try to catch a baby bass for the tank. So a lot of you on my Instagram, a lot of you said that you want to see a baby peacock bass in my tank. And I'm not sure how I'm going to catch a tiny little pea. I'll give it my best. But if it doesn't work, I'll probably just go with a baby largemouth. But anyways, today I'm just going to be going to the lake. I'm going to catch these little tiny minnows to use as bait. And hopefully catch some baby bass, baby peas. And whatever I get is going in my tank. So I'll just, if I get a bunch of little bass, I'll just choose the smallest. And yeah. Alright guys, I got a net, a bucket, and an aerator. Made it to a spot where there's usually a lot of little minnows. Let's see. I see a few already. Alright guys. I've got more than enough bait. Let's turn the aerator on. All right, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. The water's kind of murky, but I got a ton of little minnows. Here's one. A ton of these little guys. Now let's go see if I can catch some little bass with this. Alright guys, I made it to a spot that has a ton of tiny little bass and let me show you what I'm going to be using. Here's my ultralight setup. It's just a tiny ugly stick setup and then on it I have a tiny little mosquito hook. I think it's a size 8 mosquito hook. Really small hook. And the bait that I caught, these are all tiny little mosquito fish. And if you guys don't have mosquito fish near you, and you don't have any other minnow-like fish near you, a great bait to use for tiny bass is worms. You just take a tiny piece, put it on a tiny little hook, cast it out, and usually you can get a tiny bass with that. But because I'm going for baby peacock bass too, I decided to get these little mosquito fish. Uh, I got one. How I'm going to rig it is I'm just gonna wacky rig it kinda right through the middle of its body. And hopefully this will have a decent action. We'll see. Oh, got, oh, it's a bluegill. Dang it. All right, it's not a little bass, but I got a bluegill on the minnow. All right, I'm gonna save this. Maybe use this as a live bait, but that was pretty cool. Let's put him in the bucket. Okay, here's a bluegill, just a little guy. Let's toss him in the bucket and get another minnow. Oh, I got a mine. All right, well, it's not a little bass. Oh my gosh, all right, here he goes. All right guys, got another minnow hooked through the tail. Cast it out. He ate it. Oh no, dang it, that was my chance. Oh my gosh, that was sick. All right, another not bass, but it's a mine. I'll take a mine, I guess. It's so sick how they eat it. Like they come up to it, stare at it, and then they just gulp it down. Oh gosh. One thing about mines is they are crazy and they will spike you. All right, got the hook out. See ya. All right, there's a tiny, tiny bass right here. That would be perfect. Oh, and he ate it. I got him. Let's go. Let's go, guys. All right, first little bass. Here we go. First little bass. He's a little big. I'll keep him just in case, but he is a tad bit big for my tank. Yeah, he's definitely a little big. All right, I'm going to release him. He's a little too big for the tank. See ya. Oh no, I thought that was it. It's another bluegill. 
Dang it. I thought this was it. All right, here we go. This is it. I'm using a baby mine cichlid. If this doesn't get a tank monster, I don't know what will. Here we go. Best bait. Tiny mine cichlid. Because they never stop swimming. I just got to hook him good. Got the baby mine cichlid. Let's get her tank pet. No, no, no. I had it. I had it. Okay. I see it. Guys, I see our tank pet. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is not what I was after. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right. Another mine. He actually might snap me off. All right, there we go. Oh, I still got my bait. This big Mayan ate this little Mayan. I didn't want to say it. I wanted it to be a surprise, but this little baby peacock kept going for my fish. And I was trying to get that, but this Mayan ate it. That's a pretty big Mayan. Oh gosh, all right. Oh my gosh, there's a pea right there. All right, let's throw this back. Yes, let's go, let's go. I did it, I caught a baby bass. Oh my God, guys, it's the perfect size. It's so small, oh gosh, there we go. All right, and there's another one right there. I'm gonna see if the other one's even smaller, but that's perfect. All right, let's go. Oh, here we go. Let's go, let's go, guys. First a baby bass, next cast, a tiny baby pea. This day cannot get any better. I caught both species I set out to catch. Now I don't know which one to keep though. Tiniest pea. Look how small this little guy is. That's so cute. All right. Yes, oh my gosh. Guys, I just got an even smaller pea. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this pea is freaking tiny. Oh my, dang it. I thought that was a pea. All right, it's a bluegill. See you, bud. Dang, another bluegill. See you, Mr. Bluegill. All right, guys, got a text rig. Let's get some of these little bass. Oh, he had it. All right, what I'm gonna do since these are small, I'm gonna rip a Senko in half, and I'm gonna wacky rig half of it. All right, let's see if this works. Oh no. Bite. Oh, I had him. Dang it. Oh, got him. Sick. It worked. The half sink go wacky rig. Here we go. See ya. Oh, his friend's right here. Let's get his friend. Got him, oh gosh, oh gosh. That was instant, hit the water, boom. All right, another little bass, second one on the Senko. See ya. All right guys, it's getting dark, I'm gonna call it a day, but I gotta choose which fish I'm gonna keep. First, let's start out by throwing this bluegill back. Thought I was gonna use it as live bait, but didn't work. I casted one bluegill out of pee, but it just did not wanna eat. Let's see, all right, here's a large mouth. It's a really cute largey. I mean, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so hard. All right, well, I got a little largey and a little pea. I'm gonna release this bigger pea. All right, believe it or not, this is the bigger pea I caught. The other one in the bucket is even smaller. See ya. Bloop. And look at him. Oh, there he goes. All right, the bass is actually bigger. 
You know what? I'm just gonna keep both. It's too hard to decide. I'll probably release one pretty soon. I'll do like a poll on Instagram. You guys can decide if I should release the largemouth or the pea. But yeah, let's get home and acclimate these guys to the tank. All right guys, so I made it back. The two little bass are doing great. They're right there. But now I have to acclimate them to my tank. So I've got two plastic bags. These are actually the biggest I had. And because these are a little small for both of them, I got two, so I'm just gonna put one in each bag, fill them with water out of this bucket, and then put them in my tank, and maybe put one cup of tank water into these Ziploc bags. And guys, I've never done this, so in the comments, correct me if I do anything wrong. All right guys, I've got the two bags in the tank. I'm going to put a little bit of water from the tank in the bag just to help them get situated. Alright guys, so I take their bags to the top of the tank. They're doing okay. But now I just wait for about 15 minutes and then I release them into the tank. So, see you guys in 15. Alright guys, it's been 15 minutes. The fish are probably mostly acclimated by now. So a good tip if you don't want to put pet store water or lake water in your tank is to dump the bag into a net over a bucket. Alright, there we go. Alright, and there he goes. Hopefully you guys can see. And there he goes. All right guys, they're both in the tank. I turned the light off and see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully they'll be swimming around and happy by tomorrow. Alright guys, it's a couple days later. The bass is doing great. As you guys saw, he's already eating. But you may be asking yourselves, where's the peacock bass? And I actually had to release the peacock bass, the jewel cichlid in the tank, and the bass. For some reason, they were both picking on the peacock. I don't know why they were doing that. What they were doing is, both the bass and the jewel cichlid would nip at the peacock's fins. And I even saw the jewel cichlid try to hit it against the wall. So I just went ahead and released the pee. He was doing fine. He looked pretty healthy and he was fine when he swam off. So anyways, yeah, now I just have a bass and two jewel cichlid. Comment below if I should keep these jewel cichlid. I've had them for a while, so. All right, and one more thing before I end the video. Make sure you guys leave a comment on what you think I should name this bass. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fishing Forest.